you don't always have to spend money from your paycheck into Bitcoin in order to increase your position. If you play the game smart, which we're going to show you how to do on a very simple, basic level, all you have to do is develop the patience to allow the game to happen in your favor. If you don't have patience, then you will not win in this game or any other investment game for that matter. You want to know why Warren Buffett has all of the money he has? Patience. So, I know you're saying to yourself, my God, this man just whipped out a spreadsheet, but this spreadsheet right here is all you need in order to play the game like a well. Here's what we mean by that. You guys may have seen previous videos about our buy low, sell high technique. Check it out. Link will be in the description. Very simple process of outlining all of the price action that's happened maybe what in the past couple of years, maybe since the COVID crash, right? Outlining that price action and then putting ranges in place so that you understand where areas are good to buy versus where areas are good to sell. And when you look at this on a chart, it really does start to tell the story about where you should get in. OK, so we're going to show some of this on the chart a little bit later. But what I want you guys to understand here is what I'm able to do just by one glance of this is tell which coins are trading at their lowest discounted prices over the past two years or since the COVID crash. Right. Because I use different areas of time scale for different coins, depending on where their low was. But other than that, I'm looking for bargain discount zones. I'm looking for good discount zones, which aren't as good as the bargain discounts, but still pretty damn good. And then. You sort of have a dividing line, a center line of the range where you go into a premium zone. A low premium zone may still be a good area to buy, but nobody really likes to buy at a premium. They like to sell at premium. If I bought it at a discount, I want to sell it at a premium. Of course, you have your higher premium zone, which is where most retail traders get in and buy the top. The quick lesson here is to never buy in the premium zones and to only buy in the discount zones. All right. Now, the way that we play these positions is to scale out and to scale into them. It's not like we're going to take a big chunk of money and say, OK, I'm waiting for the bottom and I'm going to jump in right here. That's not the way to play the market. The way to play the market is to actually scale in a little bit at a time. And that's what dollar cost averaging is really all about. What I have to say to you is that we're probably in the most perfect opportunity for dollar cost averaging. But be aware of where you're getting in. Price will visit lower discounted zones over this period of time. If you get any rallies, it'll be within a range. From the lower part of the range, you'll get a rally. Okay. From the mid part of the range, you'll get a rally. But once you start to reach the top of defined ranges, we just got to let price play it out and see where they are. Once we get this area, we'll be able to know which coins are being supported in these discounted zones and where these areas are good areas to buy once the price starts to reach the bottom of those ranges. OK, I hope that all makes sense. What we're going to look at here very quickly are some coins and we're able to look at this at first glance. And we're going to give you updates on this every single day on this channel. OK, so what we're going to look at here are the coins that are being offered pretty much at the bargain bottom prices of what they've been at over the past couple of years. OK. For those, you have Filecoin, Theta, VeChain, The Graph, Aave, and Dogecoin are all trading at prices within the past two years that have been essentially the lowest prices that they've traded at. Next level up, you have a good discount zone with coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Solana, AVAX, Polkadot, Algorand, Harmony One, XRP, Curve Dow, Engine Token, Link, Mana, and Sandbox. Okay. All of these coins here are essentially coins that are still in rather high discount zones, but places where you will want to start to scale in. If price were to fall from here, you're scaling in. So you're not putting all of your account in at one time. So if it falls, you're not greatly affected, but you're going to scale in a little bit more. And then as soon as price starts to turn around for you, that's where you're going to start to see your profits. OK, even if price were to go to a bargain discount zone from a good discount zone, it's not like it's falling from a high premium zone never to return there again. Chances are it'll push its way back up through that good discount zone into a premium zone eventually. And that's where you're going to start to take your profits initially. Very simple process. Now, once we cross over into our premium zone, these are coins that we're not necessarily thinking about buying. And right now, these coins are Terra Luna, Polygon Matic, Binance, Secret Token, Atom and Phantom. OK, so all of these coins here are trading in higher ranges that they've been in over the past couple of years. Is it safe to say that these coins would run away from these areas as well and just completely go up? Nothing's impossible, guys. 
Nothing's impossible. But in this market environment, should you be buying at these premium areas? I wouldn't. Not in this environment. Anything in the red here, we're scaling out. Anything in the green here, we're scaling in. And this is how we're going to play our accounts. Okay, this is how we're going to build our portfolios. Little by little by little. And then when we see all time highs for all of these again, we'll be taking profits like kings, guys, because you bought in the proper areas. All right. So stick with us here at the long and short. We're going to keep showing you this over and over and over again until it ingrains into your brain that this is the way to long term how to play this market. What we're going to do is dive in a bit deeper into some of these altcoins, Bitcoin. We're going to show you where these discount and premium zones are, and this will be the conclusion of the video. So we're going to run through this pretty quickly, give a couple of insights here into what may happen as we cut through. OK, so let's try to make this quick when it comes to the actual crypto market cap. OK, we mentioned in a previous couple of other videos, you know, maybe a week and a half, two weeks back. That once price crossed under 1.87 trillion, okay, now you're starting to get into that discount zone. That puts us more into a bear market territory, guys. And pretty much that's what happened. Price crashed right through that level. And now we're starting to set up areas here that are under that level of 1.87, okay? So I'm expecting us to trade within this range. I don't expect us to drop to under 1.3 trillion okay if we actually go that low that's going to be pretty catastrophic for the crypto market and i'm thinking that at that point most people will be in capitulation to the crypto market and all of the sellers are just going to get out of their bags okay and then all of a sudden price is going to boom just shoot out of nowhere okay that is a possibility will it happen i'm not sure but definitely a possibility all right, let's go ahead and go into some coins and then we'll go ahead and get up out of here for Bitcoin. Bitcoin just crossed its way over into the discounted zone. Right. And all of these little blue and gray areas are what we use to trade Bitcoin. Don't worry, guys, we're coming out with a full tutorial on this relatively soon. Let's take a look at ETH. ETH is starting to trade in a discounted zone again, just broke into that zone. So when we look left, I think a seventeen hundred dollar approximately maybe seventeen hundred seventeen fifty maybe is equivalent to a bitcoin thirty thousand still has to fall a couple of levels before it reaches there but these two numbers are fairly equivalent right so i think that eth will still continue to fall into these discounted ranges whether or not it falls below 1300 though is the main question right you have equal lows here to clear out and i think that all of your support is really right above that level so eth may be just kind of bouncing around in this area for some time until we get a real price direction or the market just completely gives up and starts to capitulate when it comes to Binance, pretty much the same thing, right? You have some equal lows that were back in June and July. These equal low areas here are the areas that we want to watch for support, okay? Right above that discounted line as well. Right now, Binance coin is in a premium zone. So I wouldn't necessarily be scaling into anything right now with Binance. If it runs away, it runs away. But I'm looking for this to trade deeper into discounted zones before I take a look at it. XRP in a discounted zone, trying to creep to the bottom of the next discounted zone. Uh, the, the, the great discount zone, the bargain discount zone for XRP is anywhere under 57 cents. And I think that if it does go there, it should bounce pretty aggressively out of that zone. As you can see, every time it does go there, it does pop up out of there. Um, and it just wicked this area previously. This was back in December, I believe. Yep. And so we need to be aware if it does break into this zone, you will be getting XRP pretty much at the lowest prices that you've gotten it in the past couple of years. All right. When it comes to Cardano, pretty much the same story. Cardano trading in a discounted zone, reaching to the bargain discounted zone. And I would say that it may actually still just stay within this range. You do have a lot of support right above this zone here. And let's see if it does break through. If so, then we may be in capitulation zone. So time will tell there. When it comes to Solana, Solana also being supported within the discounted zone, but this is sort of an up and down movement, right? Sort of a mountain. We're a little afraid of mountains. You can call this a shoulder, shoulder, head, shoulder, 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 whatever you want to call it. But when price does have this type of action and doesn't rebound strongly from these areas, that does worry us, okay? I think Solana does have the power to do it. The network is something that people are a bit concerned about, but they do get a lot of press and a lot of people pay attention to Solana. So I think this does have the ability to push higher. OK, so we're going to watch this. If it does creep into these discounted zones, we want to see strong reactions at around seventy dollars for Solana. If it gets that low, if you don't see strong reactions, chances are this will fall lower into discounted zones, especially if we're in a super bear market at that point. Taking a look at AVAX also in a discounted zone, pretty much the same exact story as Solana. OK, these guys are sort of moving in conjunction, sort of a mountaintop type of formation. 
you know, two equal peaks. So what we're going to look for here is for these equal lows. OK, again, these were created back in September, October. OK, so this is a bit of a different outcome than regards to where Bitcoin may fall. OK, so you may actually see these lower levels a bit faster, but AVAX does have support here where it's currently starting to bounce up from these levels. So we want to see if this will continue to be supported and if it will break into this discounted zone. AVAX is a buy, in my opinion, at 40 bucks. Adam training in a premium zone. All right. So Cosmos is up in the premium zone. We're not really thinking about buying it right now. We'll continue to watch this price action to see if it continues to climb a bit higher. And if it does, then we'll be in good shape. All right. But right now in the premium zone for Cosmos, I don't think that this is a good buying opportunity at the moment. Based on the conditions of the market, I'm looking for this to drop below $23 into a discounted zone where I will start to scale in more. Polka dot is also in the discounted zone, I'm trying to find its way off the bottom of this zone. Okay, maybe will happen, maybe not. But I do like the way that polka dot springs itself out of these zones. So here is a good place for me to say I would probably start to scale in into polka dot. And if it were to drop below 15 bucks, I would start to scale in a little bit more at a time. Um, when it comes to this, because at this point it would be in a discounted zone. And as you can see, every time it falls into this zone, it does sort of break out of this zone rather aggressively. Not saying that we can look for the same thing with the current market conditions, but this is definitely a place that we could scale in. When it comes to Matic, Matic does trade in a premium zone right now for us. So we're not necessarily thinking about going in on Matic. Um, we may definitely go in, though, if it starts to fall into these discounted zones. This creep up was rather slow and, you know, it was sustained. And I think that there is support here at these levels of about a dollar for Matic. So. I think Matic will be supported at these levels. Again, you see once it pushed up to a premium zone, came back to discount, it launched out of there pretty aggressively. Anything under 75 cents is a bargain, bargain, bargain for Matic, I think. Okay. Anything under $1.50, you're creeping into that discount zone and I will start to scale in. In my opinion, when it comes to Terra Luna, Terra Luna trading out of the premium zone, starting to fall pretty aggressively and hard into the discount zone. Okay. So we want to be aware of how this is going to play out over the course of the next few months. Um, this may fall into zones that make it very attractive, maybe somewhere around 38 bucks, a little lower. OK, you do seem to have some support here on this scale move up. Let's see if it does support the price as it comes back there. Taking a look at Theta, this is the type of price action that I don't like to see on these charts. OK, there's a few coins that look like this. Unfortunately, Doge is one of them, but price shooting up from a discount to a premium zone and then just creeping its way back down, never really coming and revisiting back into these zones. You did have one push here. OK, and another one here. So even though this isn't a super discounted zone, I think that price may probably go lower. You still do have equal lows at these areas over here where price could try to attack. And that's right at about a dollar, let's say a dollar fifty, dollar sixty, okay, for theta. So if it were to drop that low, these are definitely places where you could scale in. Um, but based on this current price action, we will want to see a much more aggressive push up before we have real confidence that theta can do something like reach that premium zone again. Harmony One trading in a discounted zone. I do have a pretty good outlook for Harmony One. You see how it bounces from these discount zones and sort of makes the attempt and sort of stays elevated, higher lows being created here. So we want to pay attention to that. It is in a discounted zone. I do think that you're probably getting it for a bargain right now under 20 cents. OK, if it does continue to drop lower, I will continue to scale into Harmony One. These are the plays that we're taking a look at right now when it comes to secret network. Also in the premium zone, it has traded into the discounted zone, but you see it's being supported here. OK, so these lows here that's sort of setting the table. But remember, in order for us to really launch off of this, we are taking these lows out. But the market conditions matter overall, guys. The macro view matters overall. If there's no money coming into the market, then taking out equal lows like you see here on coins like secret network aren't going to matter. We're starting to think at levels maybe around $3.75 would be good areas to start to scale into secret network. Let's talk about Phantom also training in a premium, right? Phantom been getting a lot of good news. I think a lot of people like that network and it does have very aggressive, strong reactions, right? From these lower discounted zones into premium zones. Our objective is to get in at the best price, right? So anything under $1.83 to $0.92 cents is a definite scale and buy for Phantom. When it comes to VeChain, VeChain having sort of a tough moment here did have some extent expansions right away into these premium zones and started to play around and drop back down, trade in discount zone, sort of ranging out between premium and discount here. So not ton of confidence that this will reach all time highs any 
real time soon really any of these will but b chain definitely trading more in the discounted zone starting to take some of these lower areas out here i think a really good scale in buy is b chain at this point there's a lot of attention also being paid to this network good token to take a look at for algorand algorand is trying to support itself right here above on the the second discounted zone i would say that it does have a chance to do that you do have a lot of support equal lows here okay and this does seem to be supported right at around 68 to 70 cents okay so if this does break down into the discounted zone i'm setting up limits boom take me to the top baby let's see if this still stays supported if not not too mad about it um i think algorand definitely is going to get a lot of support coming in here all right looking at filecoin filecoin looks very similar to coins that we don't like to see and at this point when price starts to break these lows here you're starting to go into capitulation mode for filecoin anybody that's been in any type of profit for filecoin over the past couple of years they're completely lost at this point all right i feel sorry for the guys that bought this at 239 and it's dropped all the way down to 19 bucks okay so firecoin definitely something that we're starting to say to ourselves you know what let's not even take a look at this i want to see you start to break market structure equal highs to the top before i even consider thinking about filecoin okay so definitely not price action that we like to see here nothing we're thinking about taking a look at in the future okay for dogecoin dogecoin has a very similar outlook guys right the price just keeps getting knocked down and i'm wondering who's selling all of this dogecoin right you gotta ask yourself that question i think there are lower levels for doge to go to and maybe even subterranean levels like 0.0007 cents okay like that type of level let's hope not but definitely price is seeing this downwards angle and it's not convincing for me enough for me to say you know what this is something that i think i want to jump back into once it reaches seven ten cents things of that nature right so even scaling into doge right now is a bit risky i would say right now i'm not really sure what the future holds for doge hopefully elon can kind of push it up a little bit more but that has yet to be seen guys when it comes to engine token engine has the type of price action that we want to see right explosion out of a discount zone to a top premium zone back down to the discount zone right trade up a little bit boom back to the premium zone these are the type of price actions that we want to see we understand what the metaverse is going to do and so i say engine token is definitely something that you want to be scaling into even at these levels right you can definitely wait for it to hit these equal lows here more towards the lower side of things under a dollar 25 definitely a good scale in point right here for engine also mana very big explosion out of the discount zone into the premium zone, came back to a discount zone, hit a premium zone. These are the things that we want to see. We don't like to see the discount to premium and then stay in the discount. We don't like to see that, guys. We like to see this up and down type of price action. So do I think Decentraland is definitely going to explode out of here once the market sort of corrects itself and people get back into it? Definitely. Definitely so. Okay, so these prices here, I think, still may be a little high. I want to see price come back down to these levels here, maybe around 80 cents. Okay, I will feel much more comfortable getting into mana and scaled in positions at around 80 cents than I would at $2.23, especially in this market condition. Sandbox is also trading in discounted zone, but it looks like it's trying to bounce back here, guys. But don't get fooled by these fake outs. There may be some coins that run, 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 right? During this little bear market that we're in. There may be some coins that run, and those are the ones that you do want to pay attention to, right? And you want to catch them from these discounted zones. The metaverse may actually be a place that runs in the bear market, right? There's some consideration when it comes to that. So right now discounted zone i would say is a good area for you to scale in into the sandbox definitely a project that will be surviving and playing hard in the metaverse in the near future all right when it comes to chain link price is also trading in a discounted zone for chain link really battling and bouncing off the bottom here you got equal lows here okay even here and if you go back to January, December of 20 is where your next lows are, right? So if Chainlink breaks into this lower discounted zone, you're pretty much going to be at prices that you haven't seen since 2020, all right? And in my opinion, that's the bargain of a lifetime when it comes to Chainlink. Ave. Taking a look at Ave here, Ave in a lower discounted zone. Don't really know what to think about Ave, right? Had some really nice pushes out of the premium zone, back in a discount back in a premium right but so far it's been sort of depressed right now this price action here shows me that there's a lot more pressure from the top side than from the bottom side to push this up in the premium zones right once we get to the premium zone we're getting pushed now so i don't really like seeing that i want to get this at a lower price than where it is currently trading at which is 143 bucks not really scaling into ave right now i think ave is going to get pretty hurt with this DeFi crunch that's going on especially if the fed continues to 
throw curveballs and the White House comes out with regulations and things of that nature, it's going to affect DeFi. So watching Ave from the sidelines right now, not really thinking too hard about it. And for the graph also in a lower discounted zone. Now, I still think the graph is something that you would want to take a look at when it comes to indexing the blockchain. I think they are the ones who are trying to pioneer that. It's just that the price action looks very suspect to me, right? I'm not going to be biased just because I like a project and say, oh, yeah, you should still get into it. I'm looking at the price action, guys. And for me right now, the graph is not telling me a good story. Trading into a discounted zone, getting pushed down from the lower discount zone. To me, this is not a good sign, right? So what I want to see is this gain a lot more strength to the upside. I want to see the market structure get broken to the upside before I really say, you know, the graph is something that I want to start to scale into. And I'm patient enough to wait for that. OK, when it comes to Curve Dow, which is the last of our coins here, let's just take a look. Sitting in a discounted zone again, very good price action for Curve Dow. This is what you want to see, even with this big crash here, right? Kind of came down and swooped up, made a cup and handle, made the, made the high, right? So these are the things that we like to see from a discount to a premium. Back to discount, premium, right? Um, Discount, premium, <laughs> discount, premium, discount, premium should go to premium. These are the these are the moves that you really want to pay attention to in price action, guys, okay? So curved out looks pretty good. Also trading in a discounted zone. We want to see it maybe drop a little bit lower. Anything below $1.99 is a pretty good buy if you ask me for curved out. The last two times it was in this area, it bounced off of these equal low areas here. So you may be finding your support somewhere maybe around $1.40, $1.30. Uh, maybe $1.20 for curved out. All right. So that's going to do it for the market analysis. I think we can do a better job at learning how to trade this market effectively. No one shows us long term hodling techniques, which is really the way that people should play this market in regards to risk. OK, guys like me, degenerates like me, we trade it all day. We'll sit here in 25x leverage trades. Who cares? Right. For the regular retail trader, the new person who's getting into crypto, they're not going to play the game that way, nor should they. OK, but we're going to teach you guys how to play how we play. But for the long term hodlers, this is all they really need. These ranges. OK, guys. And I think that the space is missing this. I think we get a little bit too involved with, you know, what's the next coin that's going to hit 100,000 X? Who cares? OK, you're probably not going to be in it. OK, and the fact that you're telling me about it doesn't mean it's going to hit 100,000 X. And if it does hit 100,000 X, if I'm there, OK, you're going to say that this coin is the next best thing since sliced bread and I'm going to hold it. OK, because I believe in you as an influencer and then the coin's going to fall. And then what am I going to say? Well, you didn't tell me when to sell it. They're not supposed to, guys. You never take one person's advice, one person's word for whatever it may be. Not even mine. Right. And these are the things that we want to teach here at the long and short. So I know I've been on a rant for quite some time. I know this video is long, but we want to make sure that people are aware of what we will deliver here. OK, and what we're going to continue to bring and the, the extra work that we do to show you in a very simple way. Hey, you know what? Is it good to buy Filecoin today? Probably not, even though it's in a discount zone. What about Theta? Hey, who knows? What about Vet? No. Nah. What about Graph? No. Nah. What about Ave? No. Nah. What about Doge? No. What do all of these have in common? Very negative, angled down, no real returns to, to the premium zones from discounts. All of those have the same price action. OK, and they're all in the depths of hell right now. Will they rebound? I don't know. But if you ask me, sometimes these are the first projects to die in bear markets. So be careful. OK, be careful. That's all we got to say. It's been a long and short. It's your boy Maestro, man. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this type of content, please go ahead, like and subscribe. We will continue to bring it. Salute. We love every each and every one of y'all that joined us tonight. And it's the long and short. We're out of here. Peace.